How did the popular butthole of your school get the taste of their own medicine? She was two years older than me and gave me heck, soaking my sleeping bag and nail polish remover during summer camp, bullying during the school year the whole nine yards. She only stopped when she had to change schools because she was expelled for freaking a student in the school bathroom. Out of curiosity, I did a checkup on her not too long ago, and it turns out she's a drug addict who's in and out of rehab with three kids, different dads, and she still lives with her deadbeat parents. Is a single, jobless, single parent. It's said that the mother left him after the kid was eating solids. I feel sorry for the kid. So he got laid. A popular girl bullied me all through middle school. Then in high school, she sat next to me the day we were given one of those read the directions tests. She was not so wise as to read the directions. I got to sit for ten sweet, sweet minutes watching her panic more and more over the ridiculous tasks the test asked of her. After a day of teasing me, I slammed him into the wall and screamed, SHUT THE FRICK UP! I got a week of ISS, he got a week of regular suspension. Most of my bullies left me alone after that, and the next year he tried to act like we were buddy-buddy. I told him to frick right off. Brutality. The teacher wouldn't let one guy in my classroom go to the restroom to pee, so he peed on an Arizona can. When the bell rang, the guy started heading to the classroom to empty the can, and the biggest bully of the school bumped into him, took the can, and of course sipped it. He soon realized it didn't taste like tea. It was glorious. I guess maybe it was a little more of an Arnold Palmer, half tea, half lemonade. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This girl I went to high school with was a straight B, but had some clout. A year after high school, she got caught abusing an autistic kid she babysat. There was baby cam audio of her saying something along the lines of, Oh, did that hurt? No one cares. And the kid screaming for her to stop. She had her face in the local newspaper and everything. Then she got pregnant and the BD left her and she came out and has a hot girlfriend and now is a moderately small business owner. I guess sometimes the bad people win. Popular butthole, for some reason, picked on me a lot, hated me, and he got four people beat the crap out of me. Next day, my brother, three years older than me, a six-foot-five giant freak of nature, and one punch knocked him out. Best day of my life. Frick yeah, tall brother. A guy really had an immortality complex. He thought he could and did get away with anything. We're talking seriously fricked up crap here. Then one day he decided to brag about showing pee to his young sister. Even worse, he said this in a Discord server that had a lot of people were in. Long story short, someone called Child Protective Services and he had a very bad day. Band was pretty popular where I lived. I mean, there were super popular kids in band. They had a lot of hazing. I don't know their pecking order, but if someone senior to you told you to do something band related, you had to do it. There was this one chick who was the second senior person in the whole band. She was always crapping on everyone every single day. One day, that one girl who was senior to her called her out and made her march all over the school in front of everyone and made her sing a bunch of chants and more. I wasn't even in the band and it still seemed harsh to me. I gotta be honest, throughout all of high school and college, I never understood these cliques that could just make people do stuff that had power. Anytime I ever had anyone in high school try and, like, order me around to do stuff, I just said, no. So, hey, if I can give you one piece of advice, just say no. It doesn't matter. That stuff doesn't matter. High school is meaningless. He was probably the most attractive boy in the school. Girl would literally fight to be his girlfriend. Then, like Prince William, his free trial of hair and premium face expired, and he got downgraded. Basically went from a PS5 to Mr. Game & Watch over the course of five years. I'm the same age as Prince William, and yeah, in our mid-late teens, he was seriously cute, and Harry was the awkward one. Fast forward, and now Harry's the hot one. Middle school, when the bell rang to change classes, the halls were a horrific traffic jam. Everyone suffered through trying to get to their lockers and the next class on time. Enter the butthole popular guy who thought it was funny to sneak up behind some unsuspecting student who was at his locker and smack the back of the student's head causing the student to bang his head into his locker. Butthole guy got several warnings to stop, but he didn't. He thought it was so funny. Then one day he picked on the wrong student. Butthole guy got punched square in the face, fell down, and lost a tooth. Not a single person from teacher to student came to his defense. 
When Butthole's parents came to the school all upset, everyone told them their son got what he deserved. I imagine a middle-aged office dad picking up the Butthole son and some 12-year-old girl in a Pikachu beanie walks by and says, Your son got what he deserved. My teacher, she loved to use humiliation against me. I was severely depressed at the time, and she thought I was a slacker. I'm a little person, and she would get me to turn off the lights for the projector or to write on the whiteboard, only to feign ignorance and apologize when I struggled to reach. One day, she crossed the line, and I went to the deputy head teacher. He decided to reprimand her during a lesson in front of her entire class to give her a taste of humiliation, too. Star athletes picked on the fat kid in gym class. Fast forward a couple decades, he's fat and bald. Saw him using a Walmart scooter recently buying crap food. One of the kids he picked on got in shape, stayed that way, and became a top-tier endurance athlete. So sweet. Well, same thing happened with the bully from school. Came up to me in a club and tapped me on the shoulder. I looked down and saw this tubby, bald guy wearing glasses. I had no idea who he was until he said, Remember me from school? All I could think was, holy crap, karma is a wonderful thing. Love it. Never bullied me, but apparently was a giant butthole to everybody. Star football running back had multiple scholarships to Division I. Then he broke his leg and all the offers evaporated. Went to a Division Three school. Had a couple kids, got divorced, then posted all of his old scholarships to Facebook at age 40. Really sad to see. Literally argued with every single person on the reunion Facebook group. Everyone told him how much they always hated him. He's now literally insane. Posts 30 to 40 times a day on Facebook of foreign Instagram models with long diatribes about love and life translated into 10 different languages. Posts nearly nude shots of himself also, most hyping himself up. A dark spiral. He copied my exams for English, math, and science in our junior year, except he didn't know that I purposely put the wrong answers for 80% of the questions and then redid the exam after he turned his in. He failed all three classes miserably, and when he confronted me to see if I failed too, I just shrugged and said, we must have had different versions of the exam. Real talk, when I teach crowded in-person college classes, I make three versions of the multiple choice quiz. It's less to get cheaters caught, cheaters gonna cheat, and more to alleviate stress by students who need an out from that crap. The extra hassle is minimal for the stress relief. Now that it's remote COVID, I just don't even do exams. Big football stud got his butt kicked by a bunch of cowboys for mouthing off one too many times. Then went to college to play ball there, then got into drugs, and was a butthole to his team. Bounced around a couple NFL teams as a quarterback after that and sucked. Then went to jail a couple of times for theft related to his prescription drug problem. His name is now famous for screwing up. You can probably guess his name. The fact that there are four replies with different names is astonishing. She got knocked up in grade 12. I never had any problems with her personally, but she was a major B to a lot of people. Karma, I guess. There was this one guy in my high school named Toby who was a massive douche, but also popular due to being on the basketball team. Loved to pick fights and play rough. Toby bit off more than he could chew when he elbowed this one classmate named Andy during P.E., playing a friendly game. After taking the hit, Andy just straight up decked Toby in the face, knocking him out and making him lose three of his front teeth and a swollen lip. Toby learned his lesson and stopped being a butthole after that. I mean, I gotta say, sometimes you just gotta knock some sense into these people. I'm not encouraging violence, but it is funny. He went bald at 24. Ironically, dozens of other classmates started going bald in their early 30s. He made a Facebook post that said, For those finally going bald, some of us went bald years ago and have already made it through the grieving process. Good luck. I thought it was actually funny, and perhaps losing his hair so early may have humbled him. Or people just grow up and mature as they experience more of what life can throw your way. Fact is, most crappy teens still have their formative years ahead of them. Am I in the minority to think that there were no popular buttholes in my high school? There were popular kids, but they were pretty chill. There were buttholes who wanted to be popular, but no one liked them? I guess the most popular guy from my high school, who was a cool dude, married his high school sweetheart and became a physical trainer for an NFL team. And the most popular girl went to medical school, so if that's the update you're looking for, there you go. Same for me, there were plenty of buttholes, but they weren't popular. 
It was a long time ago, the early 2000s. I was in high school when this douchebag was harassing classmates in his class. The douche bullied kids for random reasons. I couldn't remember the exact one he would mostly use what he was able to find to taunt the other kids. Given the fact I had misophonia, the douche took the information and used many things that caused sensory overload. It was even happening on the school bus. Finally, one day, the douche was told he couldn't board the bus for harassment and was assigned to one meant for those with disabilities. That wasn't all. He was told to report to a different room for the whole day without being told why. Of course, the douche complained, but the teacher in the classroom was sent to tell him off. I wasn't sure what was going on until a few days later. It turns out the bus driver had noticed what was going on and reported the butthole. Soon, a few teachers who work with disabled kids reported the douche as well. The douche was ordered to read and was tested on a law regarding hate crimes as harassing someone with a disability could be grounds for such crime. The punishment varies under Massachusetts law. Since it was mostly harassment, it was mainly a fine, mandated course, and community service. The icing on the cake? The community service ordered was to work as a custodian at a nursing home. Judges love poetic justice, and community service sentences are a prime way to dish some out. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. So, in junior high, there was a kid, we'll call him Mark, and he would always pick on another kid, Steve, in the gym. Mark would do things like spray him with axe or slap the back of his head. One day, Steve was carrying a book, and Mark tried to take it, but I guess Steve had been practicing Aikido or something. Because one moment, Mark's hand is on the book and by extension Steve's hand, and the next, Mark is laying on his back and Steve is calmly walking away. Boss move. I gotta say, if you're spraying someone with axe, that isn't bullying, that's a full-on crime and you should go to jail. They now sell drugs and went to court for beating up a 12-year-old for not paying 15 pounds for one gram of weed. They also told me to suck my mom for not letting them borrow my earphones and lesson before, and then called me an F, so that's nice. Hope they enjoy getting stabbed over a small amount of green plant. Mostly anyone that thought they were hot and could monopolize. I grew up in rural Arkansas. I can only imagine they were in for a big surprise when they moved to civilization. I remember the people I thought were hot growing up, and now that I've lived in a city for years, cringe. I always wonder about this small-town hotness phenomenon. This kid used to taunt me every day at school, and for the longest time I took the abuse. One day he pushed me too far, I think he started talking crap about my mother, and I pushed him to the ground and beat him in front of everyone. He ended up with a bloody nose and some bruises. Dude never said another word to me. The popular kids all stayed hot and married each other, but I imagine that having the exact same relationship and social circle since the age of 14 probably has a certain Groundhog Day element to it. I mean, I don't know, that would be my dream to be honest. I'd do anything for a group of friends from when I was a kid up until today. She, white, called my friend the N-word. My friend, this really skinny girl who was one of those kids who never, ever, ever had gotten in trouble, decked her square in the jaw and gladly took the out-of-school suspension. Same girl started feeling woozy during a blood drive I was volunteering at, and I helped her over to one of those giant trash barrels to throw up in. She bent over and lost consciousness and fell into the trash. Literally. Know your place, trash. He thought he was all so cool during gym class, climbing the basketball hoop and sitting on it while our teacher kept telling him to come down. And then he got stuck. Didn't know how to get down, and our teacher made us all sit down and stare at him. No one was allowed to talk as this dude awkwardly tried to find a way down until he half climbed, half fell in the middle of this dead silent gym. No details on how, but she blew a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity at a major TV network. A year later, she had some pretty Islamophobic crap about presenters wearing hijabs on TV. Can't find a single thing about her since then, meaning she must be unemployable in that field. But her Wikipedia page has been edited to say she's two years younger than she actually is and lied about where she grew up, so she must still be trying to hustle for something. I don't get people being angry about hijabs. Their main argument is that women are oppressed and aren't allowed to wear what they want to. I mean, like, dude, you're literally telling them what they can't wear. Oh boy, do I have a list. They were all bullies, too. 
One butthole accidentally shot his brother in the head. The brother miraculously ended up surviving, but the guilt of shooting his brother haunted him, and he ended up committing self-termination a few months later. One ended up getting 25 years in prison at age 25 for CP. He was a boys' basketball coach and went after some boys from the team by posing as a girl online to get photos from them. Absolutely disgusting. Last one, I was parked next to him and he rammed his back driver's door and driver's door into my car while I was sitting in it. I was a shy, unpopular girl, so I was too afraid to call him out. He is now divorced and an estranged father. He cheated on his wife throughout her pregnancy and after, she kept the house and he doesn't see his kid anymore. He has nothing now. Whew. I grew up with some star students. This happened to my adult son, S, in early high school. Popular bully, PB, started picking on him not long after S was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Maybe because got S attention and trips to the nurse's office? Who the heck knows? Anyway, PB would smack his books out of his arms, trip him, try to grab his backpack off, etc. I had no idea. However, at the time, S's blood sugar levels were skyrocketing. I had to take him to his endocrinologist twice and even changed his medication. Once he mentioned PB was bullying him, it all clicked. The bullying had him so stressed he couldn't control his blood sugar. When the bullying stopped, he stabilized again. Fast forward to shortly before graduation, PB, now adult age of 18, was busted for CP slash molestation. I don't have all the details. He was immediately expelled, in court, convicted, and didn't graduate. Huh. <laughs> Frick that little monster. My god, this is one of the most horrific stories I've read on this post. Glad it all worked out in the end, though. Varsity basketball, volleyball, and softball player, member of the school's NHL leadership, in contention for valedictorian, got an underage DUI. Kicked off all three teams, out of NHS, and couldn't keep her grades up. He thought he was Wesley Snipes and walked around grabbing girls and acting untouchable. He was on the rugby team and thought he was tougher than steel. Cue my friend, Dan the Quiet Kid. Discount Blade shoves what it was meant to be an easy target. Dan breaks the bully's knees backwards and smashes his face into the pavement. While Mr. Tough Crap is lying face down, Dan then steps on the back of his knees, straightening it out. No more rugby, no more random gropes, no more bullying. Damn, Daniel. In junior high, this one popular kid had a habit of stealing things from my backpack, spreading humiliating rumors about me, did his best to make sure I would have no friends, vandalized my bike multiple times, and is likely responsible for why I am physically disabled. He would get other students to join in on all of this. I got smart and gathered enough evidence of the harassment, and he ended up getting to be followed around the school every day by a teacher's aide for the entire last half of grade 9. He lost almost all of his following when this happened. He later ended up on the front page of the city newspaper wanted for drug-related crimes. They didn't. Turns out that movies don't play out like real life. I graduated high school in 1997. By the time things like Facebook came out, I didn't give a crap about anyone I went to high school with. I graduated high school in 1997. Me too, but it took less time than maybe six months before I didn't see anyone from school. The biggest bully in high school always picked on me. I always just let it go. I sometimes fought back, but then his gang of friends would jump in and push me back. The very last day of senior year, we were walking out to our cars after graduation. He said, hey man, I'm sorry for being such a jerk. I just went wide-eyed, shaking my head laughing, and was like, are you freaking kidding me? He went on to become a cop. I'm still waiting for his time that karma repays him for my six years of heck. A bully went on to be a cop? C color me surprised. Aha, I got one. Finally. There was this huge bully when I was in high school, and I was kind of fat, you know, not hiding it. Anyway, seven years later, five years of military forces, two tours in Afghanistan, I got back home and my brother invites me to a poker game. Of course I go, and guess who's at the freaking table? That damn bully. Not sure he remembers me, because I kind of changed a lot, you know? Anyway, during the game, we talked about what we've been doing. I tell him I just bought a house, did two tours, doing good, and he goes, Well, after school, I started working in a furniture shop, but it closed, and now I'm unemployed. I know it's mean to revel in other people's misfortune, but god damn, I could only think, frick him, at that moment. No better revenge than living well. He got beat up by a girl. I mean, she really kicked the crap out of him while he tried to actually fight back. He was a racist butthole, and it was a black girl. 
He transferred to a different school two weeks later. See, now this is the kind of stuff I'm here for, folks. Gotta love it. By me doing my current events report, which ruined the star athlete's future. My school had rules saying if you got caught with drugs, you couldn't play sports. One of the popular jocks got arrested, but since he was the star football player, the school just kind of looked the other way and nothing happened. My social studies teacher would have current events days where everyone would have to bring in an article from a newspaper or magazine and talk about it in class. Buried super deep in the local section of the paper was a little one-paragraph article about a drug bust that listed the names of everyone who got arrested, which included the jock. Yeah, I used that article for a current events topic. His teammates in that class were less than happy with me. Not only that, but the school started talking about my little stunt, which meant the coaches and administration couldn't just ignore his arrest anymore. And he got kicked off the team. Not on the team anymore? Colleges that were offering scholarships start asking questions and eventually pull those offers. Oops. Guess the guy shouldn't have been such a butt to me over the years. Scorched Earth Policy Kid bragged about how rich his family was and talked about how he was going to inherit his parents' business. Business went under a whole 39 days later, and I got an email from him recently. I've got a business proposal, and since I know you are successful in business, I thought we could cooperate on a project. I responded with, I would, but you inherited your parents' business, so you don't need me. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.